I spent many years on Wall Street, uh, working you know in the investment banking sector. And as an offshoot of that, I developed an interest in water filtration companies. At the same time, I began to develop an interest in ocean preservation and seafood sustainability, and started to think about how these two interests in mind could intersect and produce a business model that would be uh, new and, and also hit a number of different issues at the same time. One of which is how to improve the quality of seafood that Americans consume, how to do it in a way that recovers the waste products as a result uh, that result from aquaculture operations, and do it in a way that uh, creates a, an economically viable uh, business model. One of the benefits of uh, recirculating aquifer systems is that we are actually with complete, have complete environmental control of the entire system. So everything from temperature, pH, water quality as a whole is able to be controlled and all the inputs that you have can be monitored in, to ensure that the, uh, the water is in its highest quality. Recirculating systems can be located in the middle of any urban area or any marketplace. So uh, they can produce fish for a community without having to be remotely located away from that community. And this reduces the amount of distribution, legs getting that fish from where it is produced to the actual consumer, and reduces time so that these fish will be fresher and will have a longer shelf life. Bronzino is a recent new entry. Only in the last five or six years has the fish really become as popular as it is, but it's growing very, very strongly, and you're seeing it increasingly in restaurant menus, on the ice cases of seafood restaurants and seafood markets. The consuming public really wants traceability today. They really are interested in knowing where their fish came from, how it was produced, whether or not it is fresh, and how it arrived on their plate. We keep very good records, so we know when the fish came into our facility, what hatchery it came from, how long it's been here. The records follow them throughout the facility, so when they come from quarantine, they go into grow out, and you're able to follow the whole life of the fish. After harvest, we will tag all of our fish with this two-sided fish tag. One side obviously has our logo on it. The other side uses QR code technology where customers can use their phones and they can actually scan the code where it shows the providence of the fish history. That is, what hatchery it came from, what day it came to our facility, what day it was harvested, what day it was packed, uh, including what tank it was in for the majority of its production cycle. We were very interested from the, from the beginning of the development of our business plan in becoming BAP certified. It is the gold standard in uh, seafood production verification. It's the way that we can tell our customers that we adhere to the loftiest standards, uh, the most you know, rigorous uh, requirements in terms of the way we conduct our business and the way that we produce our product. When we went through our BAP certification, they came in and went through our facility, they went through everything. They checked from the type of feed we were feeding, how the fish were being treated, the cleanliness of our facility, and they went through our processing portion. So they really took um, a look at every step of the process. BAP is a comprehensive, global uh, benchmark for well-run, sustainable aquaculture operations, and we are proud to have this as part of our identity here in the United States.